Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra. And together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Last week we went over bullying. Today we'll be discussing Mental Health Day, part two of our Busy October Month mm -hmm. series. Yeah. This past year, as well as last year, has been a mental drain on all healthcare workers, residents, as well as our loved ones. Having a mental health checkup is very important for everyone on all levels. Mental Health Day was October the 10th. However, we feel it should be discussed every day. Mm -hmm. The theme this year is tea and talk, so let's talk. So let's start by saying when you do a mental checkup or say that you are becoming mentally healthy, it does not mean you have a mental health problem or illness. It simply means you are aware of your mind and your mental health. Good mental or mind health is the ability to learn, feel, express yourself, or able to manage negative and positive emotions, able to cope with change and uncertainty as well as maintain and form relationships. Mental health, however, is different for everyone. No two people are the same. They could go through the same situation, but their outcomes could be totally different. It can change as circumstances change or go through different stages of your life. Here are some mental health symptoms. First, there are two groups, neurotic and psychotic. The N group are basically the normal feelings you may have known as emotional experiences like depression, anxiety, or you may panic or have stress. The P group, symptoms could be difficulty concentrating, depressed mood, sleeping too much or not enough, anxiety, bad hygiene, and suicidal thoughts or actions. These symptoms are just some of them that you could have. In the U.S. alone, one in five adults experience mental illness each year. One in 20 have a serious mental illness. In these adults, mental illness hits 44% of the LGB community, 32% mix biracial, 22% white, 18% Latina, 17% black, and 14% Asian. However, mental health does not only hit adults. One in six children ages 6 to 17 have had a mental health dis disorder as well. Mm -hmm. Some conditions of mental illness are, number one, obsessive compulsive disorder. 1.2%, 3 million could be affected. Mm -hmm. Number two is schizophrenia. Less than 1%, 1.5 million, again, could be affected. And number three, major depressive episode. 7.8%, mm -hmm. 19.4 million could be affected. Number four is post-traumatic stress disorder. 3.6% or 9 million is affected. Mm -hmm. Number five is borderline personality. 1.4%, 3.5 million could be affected. Number six is bipolar. 2.8%, 7 million could be affected. And number seven is anxiety disorder at 19.1%, 48 million could be affected. That is a lot of different illnesses that we have covered. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you know that many do not seek treatment because they are unaware of the illness or they do not recognize the symptoms they may have? Yes, often people are discriminated against. They have experienced stigma, people quick to judge them. Mm -hmm. For Mental Health Day, the theme was tea and talk. The theme for the World Mental Health Day is you are not alone. Yes. And you are not alone. Remember that statement for yourself as well as for others. Be kind to yourself and reach out for help. Here's a quote that we would like to end the show with. Be someone who leaves a mark in people's lives, not a scar. Who lifts people up, not cast them down. Who brings out the best in people and not the stress in them. Thank you for joining us today on KNL Everyday CNA.